Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat. Purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, buddy. Ravens fam. So I'm guess you, you already know your boy. Your boy gets straight to the point of the video. Justin Houston is visiting the Ravens on Tuesday. That's some good news, though. Dude. That's some good news. I'm excited about this. Also, what made what came to mind? One first, first, first thing, first thing. Adam Scheffler did report this. No big time ESPN NFL Network first. Sports first, first take, whatever. They didn't report this first. The first person that reported this, the person that really reported this was the NFL chick. So shout out to the NFL chick. She reported this on April the 9th. Oh, I forgot what time it was. But I was like, all right. I had to do my little Andre 3000. Like, all right, all right, all right, all right. But shout out to her. I be seeing some people put some... What she was to words? Where's your proof? She ain't got nothing to prove. She ain't got nothing to prove. This is grown people talking. Like like my parents used to tell me when I was younger. When grown, you see grown people talking. Sit down. Be quiet. So some of y'all some of y'all Raven fans trying to call her out. She ain't got nothing to prove. She just got a lot for. Sit down. Just say thank you. Be respectful. But anyway. So first thing I thought about was I already know the dude's code. So, we lost Judon and we lost Yannick. So, I was like, let me look at their stats for the last, say, three years. Let's look at their stats. So, first person right off the bat, Mr. Number 99, used to be for the Ravens, Matthew Judon. Last year, six sacks. The year before, um, 9.5 sacks. The year before that, 2018, seven sacks. So I'm like, eh, not bad, not bad. He can get pressure. See, but we we already got pressure, Daddy. He can't be sacked, Daddy, because you know that was uh, Ferguson's name, but he's pressure, Daddy now. But anyway. So let's go to Unique. And Unique is younger than Judah. Because Judah is, let me look it up real quick. That boy, Judah is 28. Unique, I think 26, I think Unique was, is. Yeah, Unique is 26. So Unique is more, um, let's just get to his stats. So 2018? Yeah, 2018. 2018, he had 9.5 sacks. 2019, 8. 2020, 8. So, that right there, he's good. But with, with us, I didn't see a I, I saw a lot of pressure. I didn't see complete. And I'm like, what's the deal? You know? Like, you got Judah next to you. He's gone. They just pressure, pressure, pressure. So how you got two people? They just pressure, pressure, pressure. EDC is like, I need somebody that's gonna finish. I ain't, I ain't gonna sit there and pay y'all all this money. You pay y'all this money? You sitting there just pressuring? You don't get paid to just continually pressure. And you want top, top, top dollar? Which Aries they 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 received. The uh the Patriots and the Raiders, they wanted them pressures. So we're gonna see how they do later on this year when the season starts. But Justin Houston, he has a whole career of pressures. What this is not the past three years, but one of these years I've seen was twenty fourteen. God twenty two six. And I didn't look up who won MVP, the uh, defensive uh, player of the year on that one, but 22. If he didn't win it, something better happen. It might be J.J. Watt or something during that time. But last three years, 2018, nine, already better. 
2019. I almost said, oh, what's the night? Uh, where we go? I lost it, y'all. Yeah, okay, 11. Already better. Okay, last year, 2020. Eight. So, let's just go over last year. Last year, Judah had six. Justin Houston, better. Okay, Unique had eight. But Unique played with the Minnesota Vikings. Then he played with us, Baltimore. So, and then on top of that, Justin Houston is 32 years old. So, you got a little gap between those players. But, he don't just bring pressure. He completes the job. He completes the task at hand. And then on top of that, he's been in the game longer, more consistent longer. So you you, you add that up. He can teach these these guys we get we have. And also we're gonna draft. You know we're gonna draft up another pass rusher. But if he do if he does become a Raven, that's a great, great, great pass rushing mentor to have. Because we and if you really think about it, what I feel like EDC is doing, we have Calais Campbell and we have Derry Wolf on the, the D line that can teach the youngins. You know, Brandon Williams already established, but they can teach the youngins. So who we have as a pass rusher that's a veteran that can that's consistent, that is very good at second a quarterback. Who we have to teach these guys some moves and stuff like that for as a pass rusher? I can't think of anyone. If y'all can, let me know. I really can't think of anyone. Even if Judon came back, uh, Yannick came back, they couldn't teach him. Because they wouldn't teach him how to pressure. I'll teach y'all how to get real close. But then, you know, the DBs, that's set. I ain't worried about that. I wonder if we're going to get a safe. Yeah, that's another video. But y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm excited about this. Hopefully, we can pick him up. Now, I'm hearing we might lose a, a, cons a pick. I don't know what I forgot. Is it one of the thirds? I can't I can't remember. I had to look it up again. Y'all tell me in the comments if you know. Save your boy some time. But hit that like, hit subscribe, hit that share. See you on Tuesday, y'all.